Hi, my name is George Weaver. Hi, and I'm George D'Amato. And we are the Good News Blues. We are a Christian blues band. We do all original Christian blues. And some people want to know why we do the blues. And uh, as Christians, we're appointed to be fishers of men. And sometimes, as you know, when you're fishing, you might not be catching anything. So when that happens, you need to change the bait. And that's what our music is all about. There's a man on the corner with no shoes for his feet. This is a man, a man on the corner with no shoes for his feet. You know, I remember one time that uh, I was playing in a band where the lead singer said to the audience, the more you drink, the better we sound. And the purpose for that is that as a, as a band playing in the bars, your whole reason for playing is to entice people to come in, listen to the music, and stay there and drink all night. And that was another thing that, that sort of hit me when he made that remark. It made me realize that this isn't something I should be continuing. Being in a bar was to make some extra bucks on the side because we did work full-time jobs at that time. But being in there, like I say, it's a really uh, unlikable atmosphere after a while. At first, it doesn't bother you, but when you see uh, the characteristics of people the, the, and how they change from maybe just coming in for the evening, but by the end of the evening, they're a different person. They want to they wanna fight, they want to cause trouble, they get loud in some cases. And I, of course, like I say, I was part of that scene myself. I'd go in and uh, before the end of the night, while we were playing, we were pretty, feeling pretty good ourselves. And, uh, and through that, um, uh, the aftermath is, was the worst part of it all, going home with, and waking up with a hangover and, and just a, a feeling of, um, no, I, I just didn't feel right, didn't feel clean, to be honest with you. You wake up smelling like a bar and you definitely have to hit the shower first thing. And, 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 and like I say, that was not for me. I, after so many years, God just instilled in my heart, in my mind, that there's better things. Don't worry about the pay. My pay is much greater and it's more rewarding and it glorifies my son when you choose to follow me. When we, when we play for the homeless and we do that whenever we get the opportunity, uh, those people aren't just hungry for food or they're just not uh, in need of clothing. They're in need of prayer. They're hungry for prayer and they're, they're very, very gracious and, and they're very receptive to, uh, to what we're telling them. And, and, you know, George and I sometimes will, on the way home, say, you know, there but for the grace of God go I. Because of our backgrounds, we are able to associate with people that have uh, had drug problems, had alcohol problems. And uh, we're just there to assure them that there is a way back to the Lord, and it's through His Son, Jesus Christ, in uh, uh, believing and having faith that He can pull you out of any situation that you're in, and uh, He'll do it. All you have to do is just surrender. After being saved and uh, God began to use us, we were part of a band called Sweet Surrender, and uh, we had a fabulous singer, and uh, it was just, it was amazing how God used us. and. That was our first time we were on television. We were back on a program called Light Music, hosted Tom by Green. Tom Green. I've been a, a fan and a watcher of CTV for many years. And uh, their programming is, is, is great because there is such a vast variety. You can't, if you want to learn how to make a cake, watch CTV. If you want to learn how to come to the Lord, watch CTV. If you have a problem, watch CTV. They'll, They'll pray for you. They want to be part of our community, and we thank God for that uh, uh, particular ministry that God has put in CTV.